vitamin B3 used to be called vitamin PP. Why is there vitamin A, B, C, D, E, but not F, G, H, I, or J, but there is a vitamin K, but like none of the letters after that. Because vitamins were named before we knew what they were. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, scientists figured out that there were these vital substances that we got from food that prevented diseases of malnutrition, like scurvy, pellagra, beriberi, night blindness. And as scientists realized that these belonged to a nutrient class, they already knew about macronutrients and minerals, but not about vitamins. They started just assigning letters of the alphabet as the existence of these particular vitamins were identified. So the first vitamin to be discovered was vitamin A, then vitamin B, but they later realized that was a collection of similar compounds, B complex, stick a pin in that. But then some of the vitamins got their letters not because it was the next letter in the alphabet, but because it was a secret code for what that vitamin did. So vitamin K was named after the German word coagulation because vitamin K is essential for blood clotting. And vitamin B3 was called vitamin PP for pellagra preventive factor. That might be funnier if you know that vitamin B3 deficiency causes the disease of malnutrition called pellagra. No wait, vitamin PP is funny even if you don't know that. Vitamin B2 was originally given the name vitamin G. And then once scientists were like, oh no, this belongs in B complex. Then the Bs started to get numbers too. So thiamine was called vitamin B, but then they renamed that one to vitamin B1. Riboflavin became vitamin B2. Vitamin PP became vitamin B3 also called niacin. Vitamin H became vitamin B7. Vitamin M became vitamin B9. And then there were some nutritive compounds that were given a B number designation that later lost their vitamin status. So choline was vitamin B4. Yoink, you're not a B vitamin anymore. Myoinositol was vitamin B8. Vitamin B10 was something that uh, was later discovered to be essential for bacteria, but uh, not humans. And then for the, the other B vitamins with numbers higher than 12, some it was discovered that it was actually the same thing as something else that had already gotten a number. So a different form of, of the same nutrient. So they just got, they got merged. And then others were discovered to be just be non-essential just comes out of the fact that the naming convention for this class of nutrients was, was not a, official. So it allowed for, for lots of, I'm calling this one vitamin pee pee. While also the fact that a lot of these nutrients were named before their molecular structures were identified or the biochemical pathways they belong to, which helps us know, can we make some of this ourselves? Is it essential or do we have to get it from food?